what's going on everyone christianpickdogs.com here with the wraparound where we're going to be breaking down the nhl action going down on saturday march 23rd 2024 just a reminder if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up we appreciate all the love and support that we get here at pick dogs from you guys over the years i appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to tune into the wraparound to be put on some free pick nhl winners if you're looking for my best bet on the board the games that i absolutely love including my daily 19 dollars best bet make sure that you head on over to pickdogs.com Click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. Got everything on the board today. Got some NHL, got some NBA, got my uh, college hoops play of the day as well. So that's something if you want to take a look into, you can definitely do that. You can hop on a daily pass. We can make you some money today. Or there are plenty of options for, you know, multi, multi-sport packages. But the best way to go is a long-term pass. You know, it's going to cover you. We're like, you know, March Madness is in full swing. The NBA and the NHL are in their playoff runs right now. These, these playoff pushes. And all of a sudden you blink and MLB is going to be here later this week as well. So definitely something that you want to make sure that you tu- you, you're, you're, you're tuned into and locked in with. And you know you can also pair me up with another one of your favorite handicappers or any of your favorite handicappers as part of our multi-capper promotion. Also, whatever you choose to do, remember to use that promo code PICK at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Now, I understand this video is coming out a little bit later today. I do sincerely apologize for that. It's just been a bit of a rough morning coming back from Vegas. Uh, I was on the red eye last night, had my flight delayed a couple times, but I got home this morning and uh, it's just been, like I said, just a, just a slow start to the day. So my hope is, is that yes, this video is going to be released um, after a couple of these games, these early games have, will have already started. If you tune in for the wraparound and you miss out on the, on the puck drop, my hope is that, you know, you take that information and if it works for you, you play, you, you make the play live. If not, there's going to be a ton of action on tonight's card as well that we're going to go over with plenty of time for you to get those bets in. So, you know, let's not waste any more time. we got an 11-game card to talk about. You guys know the drill. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. Our first game on Saturday's card takes us to the UBS Arena where the New York Islanders take on the Winnipeg Jets. And head-to-head, the New York Islanders have actually owned this matchup in recent years, winning seven of the last eight meetings. But the one outlier was actually the first meeting this season back on January 16th. It was a 4-2 win for the Jets in Winnipeg. And the Winnipeg Jets, like I've said time and time again, are probably the most quietly consistent team in the NHL this season. Sure, they, they lost 4-1 to the New Jersey Devils a couple nights ago. But still, winners of three of their last four, they beat the... Uh, the New York Rangers, they beat the Columbus Blue Jackets 6-1 on the road. And now you have an Islanders team that needs wins, but the problem is they've lost six straight. They've given up four more goals in each of their last five games. And I think that there's a reason they're a home underdog here despite needing the victory. I think the Winnipeg Jets are just a better team. The Winnipeg Jets, they need the victory too. They're still in a dogfight for the Central Division title with games in hand over Dallas and Colorado. So I'm going to go with the Winnipeg Jets on the money line in this one. Now we're heading to the Wells Fargo Center where the Philadelphia Flyers take on the Boston Bruins. You can make a case that the Flyers could definitely use a win here, you know, as they're trying to hold on to that final uh, spot in the Metro Division race. Right now they're third in the Metro Division. The Boston Bruins, on the other hand, you know, they're trying to hold on to that Atlantic Division title. But the thing for me in this matchup is that the Boston Bruins have won six straight head-to-head between these two teams. Boston also has been the much more consistent team. They've won uh, five of the last their, their last seven games head-to-head. You know, Boston 2-0 and this season, scoring six goals in each of the two victories. The Philadelphia Flyers continue to be inconsistent, and uh, as much as I want to be able to take a shot at them as, as a home dog here, I just think the Bruins are the better team. So I'm going to take the Boston Bruins on the money line here at minus 152. Now we're going to the XL Energy Center, where the Minnesota Wild take on the St. Louis Blues. And, you know, this is definitely a matchup I've gone back and forth on because I think that the, uh, the Minnesota Wild are a solid team and you know st louis blues you know have had their issues on the road and you know a lot of their recent success has come at home but last time out you know the st louis blues beat the ottawa senators 5-2 on the road a senators team that plays their best hockey at home minnesota you know they've been inconsistent yes they they won their last three games at home they've actually won their last four at home but there those are wins over teams like anaheim arizona san jose and that's not to say that, you know, you take away those wins because of who's been put in front of the Wild. I don't do that. But the reality is here for me is that both these teams need to win in the playoff race. It, to me, this should be closer to a coin flip. Um, Minnesota, they're barely above 500 at home. St. Louis barely b- uh, below 500 on the road. But just looking at these two teams in recent form, St. Louis has been the better team playing better hockey. So 
I'm going to take a shot here on the Blues at plus 118. Like I said, I think this game should be closer to minus 110 on both sides, maybe minus 115 for the Wild at home. So give me the Blues at plus money. Now we're going to the Bridgestone Arena where the Nashville Predators take on the Detroit Red Wings and the run continues for the Nashville Predators who continue to be on an absolute tear on a 14-game point streak. They picked up a 3-0 win over the Florida Panthers on the road in their last matchup to push the winning streak to four games. And that might have been the toughest road win of the bunch. I mean, they've been absolutely outstanding. The wild, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the Predators have in recent games. Now, D Detroit won the first meeting in Detroit earlier this season, 5-4. Uh, to four, But what stands out to me here is that the home team has won each of the last four meetings between these two teams. We're getting a reasonable price with the Nashville Predators given the golf and form between these two teams as of late, you know, sure, Detroit's won three of their last four games, but all those wins came at home, and as much as Detroit has improved compared to past seasons, they still have issues winning games on the road. So I'm going to take the Nashville Predators here. I'm going to take them at minus 170. Maybe we use it as a parlay piece, or even if you wanted to take it straight up. It's actually one of my favorite plays on the board that just didn't make my premium card. Now we're heading to the Prudential Center, where the New Jersey Devils take on the Ottawa Senators. And I didn't want to back the New Jersey Devils as much as the next person, because this New Jersey team can be wildly inconsistent. I think it's the long and short of it. They're 17-17 at 2 at home. But that being said, 17-17 and 2 is a lot better than 10-20 and 2, which is Ottawa's road record. And Ottawa right now back to struggling. They've lost 3 straight. They've given up 5 or more goals in all 3 losses and scored 2 goals in each of those losses. And last I checked, when you're only scoring two goals, you're giving up five or more. It's really hard to win hockey games that way. They've been outscored 18-6 to six in those three games. Going on the road here to New Jersey, a New Jersey team that you know is desperate to pick up points wherever they can to keep themselves in the wild card race in the uh, Eastern Conference. Yeah, I think it's a bad spot for the Senators to be. And I'm going to take the, uh, the New Jersey Devils on the money line here at minus 165. Now we're going to the Scotiabank Arena where the Toronto Maple Leafs take on the Edmonton Oilers. And it's a battle of two of the best teams in the NHL. You got the Oilers at 42-21-4, the Leafs 39-20-9. And, and, you know, both these teams have had their ups and downs as of late, but both these teams have also been in a lot of high-scoring games. The Leafs have hit the over in four straight, uh, four straight games with at least seven goals. Meanwhile, the Edmonton Oilers, they've had some close games here and there and some lower-scoring games. But they also beat Buffalo last time out 8-3. to They beat the uh, the Washington Capitals 7-2. to And I just think it's going to be a bit of a higher scoring matchup, you know. A lot of the recent meetings between these teams have seen 6-7 goals in a game, if not more. And I just think there's just so much offensive firepower on both sides. It's really hard to not like the over in this game. I think the side is a coin flip. So maybe you look at the Leafs at some plus money as a home dog for a value play. But uh, I think the over 6.5, the only way I really want to go in this one. Now we're going to Madison Square Garden but for a matchup between two of the better teams in the Eastern Conference as the Rangers take on the Panthers. And uh, the Panthers, you know, are still one of the elite teams in the Eastern Conference. They're still fighting for an Atlantic Division title. But this Panthers team has also fallen on hard times right now. They've lost uh, three straight. They've been shut out in two of those games. And that's not to say they're, you know, being beat by slouches. I mean, Nashville, Tampa Bay, and Carolina are three of the hottest teams in the NHL right now. But it's not like it gets any easier here against the New York Rangers, who have played their best hockey at home by far this season. 24-9, and a record just under 75%, a win percentage just under 75% at home. And, um, you know, they've won six of their last eight. They just beat the Boston Bruins 5-2 at the TD Garden. I think the Rangers have some momentum here. I think they get their first win over the Panthers this season. I think they got double revenge on the mind here. I got to go with the Rangers here at the coin flip price. Now we're heading to Rogers Arena where the Vancouver Canucks take on the Calgary Flames. And, you know, another matchup where I kind of went back and forth on it because I do like the Canucks, but this price is a little bit high for me, you know, even if the Canucks are the better team because, you know, right now they're still excuse me, missing Thatcher Demko, who's still on the injury list until it looks like the early part of next month with a lower body injury. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to be out for a little bit. But on the other side, you know, you got... Dan Vladar, who's out for the season with a hip issue. Jacob Markstrom's questionable. And that would leave you know more work for Dustin Wolf, who I'm still not a fan of, even though 
you know, Wolves been able to help the uh, the Flames pick up a couple of wins here and there over Montreal and Vegas at home. But now they go back out on the road where, you know, they've been less effective this season, 15, 14, and 4. Vancouver does their best work at home, 23, 7, and 4 this season. The Canucks have been quietly one of the best teams in hockey, seemingly. I don't want to say seemingly out of nowhere, but it's just it's kind of what it feels like. And the uh, I think the Canucks find a way to get it done here. So I'm going to take the Canucks to win this one in regulation, get that minus 190-something price down to around minus 120. Now we're going to the Crypto.com Arena where the Los Angeles Kings take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. And a matchup where I've kind of had to, to rack my brain to see if I can make this line make sense. I mean, you know, Los Angeles Kings, sure, they're at home. And the Tampa Bay Lightning, not in an ideal spot. I mean, it's never an ideal spot for any team to be on, you know, a back-to-back -back on the road. But the Los Angeles Kings are still a team that's played their best hockey on the road. You know, head-to-head, -head, you know, the Tampa Bay Lightning have owned this matchup. And Los Angeles, they're 16, 11, and 7, so sub-500 at home. 20, 11, and 4, um on the road and sure Los Angeles has picked up back to back road wins, actually three straight wins at home and four wins in their last five home games, including a six nothing win over Minnesota last time out. But for Tampa Bay, you know, this is not the toughest back to back to be on. You play LA here and then you play Anaheim on, um, on, uh, on Sunday. And, you know, I do anticipate that you probably see Andre Vasilevsky on Saturday against the tougher opponent in the Los Angeles Kings. Maybe see Jonas Johansson on Sunday. Um, but the Tampa Bay Lightning are hot right now. They've won five straight games, looking more and more like the Tampa Bay Lightning team. A lot of folks expected to see consistently throughout the season and haven't necessarily been as consistent in showing it, but it's been coming out in spurts. And, you know, Los Angeles Kings, like I said, this is a, a Kings team that at times can be inconsistent. I think we're getting plus money with the better team playing better hockey right now with a significant edge in goaltending regardless of who starts in net for the Kings here. So give me the Tampa Bay Lightning at plus money in this one. Now we're going to the SAP Center where the San Jose Sharks take on the Chicago Blackhawks. And, you know, I'm going to ride the same strategy that I rode with Chicago when they were up against the Anaheim Ducks, and I'm going to take the under in this game. Not because I trust either one of these teams defensively, but because I think the offense on both sides is so bad that it's going to make the defense look a lot better than it is. I mean, these are two teams that, you know, in, what, 140-plus games this season have a combined 35 wins between the two. You know, Chicago's won just five games out of 34 on the road this season. San Jose, slightly better at home, but still just 10, 20, and 3. I don't trust either one of these teams. This is going to be an ugly matchup. I'm going to take the under 6.5 in this one. Our final game on Saturday's card takes us to the T-Mobile Arena where the Vegas Golden Knights take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. And, um, you know, the Columbus Blue Jackets continue to struggle on the road. 10-17-7 on the road, while the Vegas Golden Knights 22-11-2 at home. They've had some inconsistencies here and there. You know, there's been a team that's alternated wins and losses in each of their last five, but they've started to pick it up at home. You know, they've won 3-1 against the Seattle Kraken and the New Jersey Devils. And right now, the Vegas Golden Knights are the only team with anything of any consequence to play for here. The Columbus Blue Jackets don't even look interested in trying to play spoiler in a lot of spots against the better teams that they're up against. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights need a victory here to keep themselves in the running in the uh, in the Western Conference in those wild card spots. Right now, Vegas occupying the second wild card spot in the Western Conference, four points ahead of St. Louis with a game in hand. So Vegas needs to keep winning these games. And like I said, you're facing a Columbus team that's got little to no motivation. I'm going to take the Vegas Golden Knights on the puck line to round things out. That's it. That's all the NHL action for Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell in the description of this video below to get notified when the newest and freshest content drops here at Pick Dogs. And make sure to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck.